Sub Magazine. Hello once again, I am Doc Rotten and this is Gruesome Magazine where we review the very latest in streaming and video on-demand horror movies. Each week my co-host Jeff Moore, Crystal Cleveland, Dave Dreyer, Christopher G. Moore, and myself will take a look at very spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings. Tonight we review my best friend's exorcism. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. So, <laughs> this is going to be fun. All right, let me introduce the crew, starting off with the one and only, the Jeff Moore. How you doing, sir? Uh, I'm good, but I, I wish I'd have known that that was a thing I could do a long time ago. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I have an exorcism for my best friend. Oh, okay. oh. oh my. It would have yeah. been helpful a couple, a few decades ago. It would have, it would, Hanging I, out with those demon lovers, I see. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what on earth? Oh my God. Uh, also joining us is the Cackle Queen. Hi, uh, <laughs> Cleveland, Living Dead Girl. How you doing? I'm good. I'm just so confused. Every time I'm just so confused. The like the intros are like the words. I need someone to write my scripts for me. If if I just have a script, I'm wonderful. But if I have to play myself, that's not a good look for me. Uh, not a good look for you. No. You need to go to Christopher's ad lib classes. Yeah, yeah. Chris, actually, Christopher should just write everything I say. There you go. Nah, you I'll make you say some stuff. No, you no, oh, my God. Right. You don't know. Uh, speaking of that, also joining us is award-winning filmmaker Christopher G. Moore. How you doing, sir? Doing good, man. High five. Don't keep me hanging. High five. <laughs> High five. <laughs> High five <indeed. laughs> Rounding out the crew, ladies and gentlemen. Loser. Join me. Join me if you want to. The one and only Jay. <laughs> Oh, you, you can always tell you can always tell when we're in the second recording because the the dave is only half <laughs> <laughs> so we, so, we should all do yeah. like the three if you ever want to know which point. review we record yes. first you can tell by how long his uh, compare, day compare the days, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Like we need to work it to where we have one person says Dreer, next person says Dreer, 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 Dreer. Oh, oh, yeah. like the three stooges. Oh, oh, like yeah. Or the five, the five stooges, I guess. There right you now. go. Wah, 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 wah. All right, uh, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to review my best friend's exorcism. We're going to give start off giving our first impressions. So that will be spoiler free. Are there spoilers in this? Maybe not. And then we'll get into discussion. We will have some spoilers there. And then we'll wrap things up with our score one, two, five, and our favorite scene. And of course, we hope you enjoy not only this review, but many others that we have on the site. And if you do, please hit the like, subscribe, share with a friend. Every click is easy and free to do and will help us out. And because uh, we're trying to reach 5,000 subscribers and only yep. you can help us do that. And of course, we want your thank you. I don't that Pac-Man <laughs> doing something weird. Um, we also want... <laughs> <laughs> waka waka waka. Well, that works for this movie. <laughs> hey, there you go. Well, uh, yeah, of course, yeah. we want to hear your comments down below. Let's take a look at the card and get into things. Bing. Uh, my best friend's exorcism streaming on Shutter beginning September 30th, 2022. Uh, director is Damon Thomas. The writer is Jenna uh, Lamia. Lamia? Ida? Lamia? Maybe, yeah. Sure. Based on the. I think their main's vampire, too. Oh, wow. Cool. That. That would be awesome. With that. Based on the Quirk Books novel by Grady Hendrix, uh, the cast includes Elsie Fisher, uh, Mia Miller, Rachel Ojechi Kanu, Kanu, uh, Kathy Ang, Clayton, Royal Johnson, and Christopher Lowell. I feel like I butchered two out of six of those. All right, synopsis is teen best friends Abby and Gretchen grapple with an otherworldly demon that takes up residence in Gretchen's body. That would be the best friend. Yes. All right. Yep, let's get yep. into things and start <laughs> off. Christopher G. Moore, sir, would you give us your first impression of my best friend's exorcism? Or uh, 6616 Candles. Uh -huh. um, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, or, uh, wait. It's the Mean head. Girls. No, no. Um, mean Girls, the Satanic Years. That's like. Mm, really it could be that. Oh, Although man. I think there's less. Yeah. I mean, well, I don't know. I, 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 I enjoy. <laughs> well, I enjoyed the movie. I, I, I kind of wonder, like, how the budget could afford all the 80s songs they used in it. Mm, yeah. But I didn't have a problem with it. You know I me. Mean? I mean, I love me a movie that's set in the 80s. Um, and uh, I, I, this, 
I enjoyed it. I, I I think my my only my main takeaway is like I, I did expect it to be more humorous based on mm-hmm. the trailer. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. but it, 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 but I didn't mind the seriousness of it, you know, because it kind of went to some places that like that in these type of teen uh, stories you don't go. I mean, and and um, <clears throat> and so even though there was you know the old '80s outfits and stuff, and I've, and I've actually seen like those like muscular uh, evangelists and stuff that were like <laughs> yeah. I've seen it where they would really tear like a phone book in half and stuff. Like, I'm tearing this for the Lord, and and uh, so I <laughs> love I loved yeah. Actually, used to, I have a friend who does that. Back oh, in the no, day, he does back it. in the day, that was more acceptable, especially in the South. You know, I actually this did, was just a few years. Ago. I, <laughs> <laughs> my uh, music group actually did a musical at our in uh, my high school in the high school gym um enough about me um but uh but yeah i really enjoyed i enjoyed this movie yeah i think there was a little bit of repetition in like some of the dialogue because i think somebody says like are you okay like a million times throughout the film um but i i i, I did love i did love the chemistry of the different characters and stuff um, even though some of the characters seem to be the normal sort of archetypes or characters you find in these type of films, but uh, I did like it was mostly around the, the main female characters, and and I love the the main female character who's kind of like she's always trying to do the right thing, but also people are against her, and I I felt like for me I felt like her like when I was in school, you know, uh, that you have like those kind of weird friends, and then. You know, if you say the wrong thing, people get mad at you and stuff. So, but yeah, but also how it inter- in it, how it integrates the supernatural aspect of it kind of worked well, especially by the end. Um, but I, yeah, I love the I love the incorporation of a lot of the '80s stuff that didn't feel like you were being hit over the head with it. Um, and also just how it dealt with the whole, even how the whole even though the exorcism thing was kind of wonky by the end, I kind of liked mm-hmm. that it went a different direction than what we normally see um and so i like that where it sort of it, it, it we because we always think in the movie the exorcist which is the the prime thing we look at when we think of like exorcisms and that kind of thing and how it went kind of a, a different way with that i think it kind of worked for me you know to, to where it's it's more about it's more about the relationship than somehow the the religion aspect so so yeah i really enjoyed this i thought it was a very it was a very i, I was actually i thought it had a very the very ending was very sweet um uh, yeah i love the characters and you know me i love the 80s stuff as well so I, in fact it just made me like oh man i need to make a, a movie set in the 80s <laughs> you do uh you which do. With, uh, there is a project that i'm working on that w- we will be set in the 80s but uh yeah I, I i really enjoyed this film even though even though it wasn't the comedy i was expecting i really enjoyed the characters and i because it, it the characters seemed a little bit more grounded than what i expected as well nice nice crystal Hi. What was your first impression of my best friend's exorcism? I keep wanting to say wedding, and that's not. I know, me too. <laughs> Which is one of my favorite right Oh, no, no. It, it's oh, my yeah. best friend's Greek exorcism. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wow. That's wow. a whole different movie. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, so uh, this movie's really cute. Okay, I, I thought the characters were great. I thought the acting from everyone was wonderful like i didn't have a problem with anyone's even the ones that were campy the the fitness and faith people it was Mm -hmm. obviously meant to be funny and funky and i enjoyed that as well um i i thought that it totally okay so i literally like totally had the blonde girl's hair like i so she (laughs) so my hair was red but i would i would put highlights in it and it's so curly and so like when it grows longer it's a little bit like that and I was like I mean I was younger than them for sure but I looked at that and I was like I was like that was my hair and I was like pulling out photos of like looking and I was like oh my god now I even had that it's sad because I had that hair like I it wasn't in the 80s which I'm <laughs> so I was obviously a little a little behind the times but whatever so um i love the music i loved the the whole look i the, so what i did have an issue with what i didn't love about it is 
how weird the exorcism stuff and parts came. I, I'm fine with them not using the religious aspect of it. I think that they should have, oh, I don't want, I don't want to give any spoilers, but I had a problem with the, with the demon. I felt like they made a, they made some, they made a very tone deaf choice with something mm. that they did mm. much like the witches the new witches movie mm. so for me it was it, it, it kind of turned me off but i was like okay that's fine i'll let that one slide i guess i it, you know but other than that i really did enjoy it it was fun it was cute it was there was there really was a touch of mean girls in it and it was funny so yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I, I mean, couple, couple things, but I did enjoy it. Okay, and well, oh, wow, we're on a streak here. <laughs> now we have Jeff Moore. Jeff, sir, what was your first impression of my best friend's Greek exorcism? Well, I was, I was alive <laughs> in the eighties. I was alive in the eighties, but I didn't really participate. Was your hair like that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't participate. His hair is all cramped back then. Yeah. Uh, yes, no, I. I did not get. I just. I just looked at all those hairdos and went, "What the?" The, the blonde girls was the most sort of normal to me, but the other oh, ones were look like they were like okay. helmets or something. I, I just, helmets. I didn't get them yeah. at all. So I was there was a lot of references to stuff I'm sure I didn't. You know, um, there was a line in there that I texted Doc that mm -hmm. cracked me up, uh, and I did. I liked. I like the Lemon Brothers, you know. The yes. Lemon Brothers. <laughs> oh my the, god! Uh, faith the, and uh, Christian faith-based workout stuff. So anyway, um, you know, it was okay. I, I just wasn't. It wasn't something that really connected with me, you know. So um, I, I, I just, I, I, hmm. mm. I, I don't mm. know what to say. This is not. This is kind of like the last one. I'm just sort of like. It's okay. I wasn't offended. I, nothing really tricked with me. Um, you know, my kids were going through the 80s, so I probably was resented all this stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, my God, that's great. That's great. All right, uh, Dave. Dreyer. How are you doing, sir? Well, no, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Oh, excellent. <laughs> what was your first impression of my best friend? Uh, uh, I, I actually enjoyed this quite a bit. Uh, you know, they had me with the soundtrack right off the bat. It was kind of it was kind of a weird mashup. There was like uh, John Hughes influences. There was mm -hmm. Jennifer's Body influences. There was uh, uh, what the hell, another movie that struck me on. Oh, uh, Ginger Snaps. It was kind of a Ginger Snaps mm -hmm. vibe to it. That's interesting. Um, yeah. You know, so it's kind of a weird mashup, but it, it, for me, it, it, it worked. Uh, there was uh, uh, some fun effects that, that, uh, that you know, made the viewing fun. Um, I'm with Christopher. I thought it was going to be a little a little funnier than it was. But at the end of the day, it, it, it worked for me. So, yeah, it was fun. It was fun? <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, too. I thought it was going to be funnier, too. I was actually surprised how... <laughs> often it got serious with the with mm -hmm. the with the content um because it is kind of like three different tones rolled into one um so i'll start off saying that i had a real good time i really enjoyed this it, it was it was delightful um and i think there's, there's there's definitely an audience for this and there's gonna be a lot of people that really enjoy this and uh in in a different year this actually could have been top 10 material this year has been too great it's been a crazy oh, yeah. good year um, so it's going to fall just under the under the un, um, under the wire for me on that respect, and mostly that's because of the tone. The tone for me was so far away from each other. Like you know, you had this seriousness of the exorcism, and then you had this satirical, over the top guy in there doing it. And i i didn't I didn't get that 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 mixture. You know, it, it didn't really. Um, blend well but at the same time individually i love those elements right i love the whole stage show that they did and the conversation that they would have and i might even have a favorite scene that comes along with, <laughs> with those guys as well but um in, in regard to this though i it, it really does a good job of capturing the tone of the 80s it really felt set in the 80s 
It had references that didn't mm -hmm. feel shoved in place. It felt like natural dialogue. So it's really well written in that respect, I thought. And the characters are, are likable. Even the ones that you should dislike somehow mm -hmm. you, you're kind of like, well, these are, yeah, I, I knew these kids, right? These, these were kids. These, this is really captured kids from the eighties. And that's not always easy to do. Um, mm -hmm. So I, 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 I thought it was a, a delightful film. I, I really liked it. It's well worth watching for certain. For certain. I yeah, agree. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I, 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 and even like, you know, I know like me, you know, even now we, we see a movie and we end up like quoting it and stuff. But even back in the day, like when, when the person said, uh, surely you can't be serious. I even said it while I was watching. It's like, oh, I, that, I, that would have been me back then. You know? Right, right. Uh, and I do. Oh, well. Also find it very funny they made a Abby Normal joke, which, you know, yeah. there's, there's, there's <laughs> also Abby young, Normal? Young, young Frankenstein. Young Frankenstein. Okay. Which also there's Young Frankenstein okay. in another movie we just reviewed, so uh, but not as good as Young Frankenstein for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I loved a lot of the '80s references. Um, I mean, even even the moment when they do the exorcism, they throw a lot of '80s references and stuff in there that I really enjoyed. I think you know, I I did I, did, I, I love the characters. Um, I, I loved. I loved how it, it took a it, it had that serious tone at moments because there's even a part where she thinks her friend got you know raped you know by a character oh, yeah. and I was like whoa they're not they're not yeah. but at the same time like it almost felt like a character like I, I need to help my friend type moment mm -hmm. and so I can understand that but I wasn't really expecting to go there because I thought it was gonna be a lighthearted fun thing where oh my friend got get, you know possessed and I gotta help her out and but um. But it, it, it almost kind of that groundedness, even though it has the wacky characters and you have the 80s, it kind of worked. But but yeah, I, I, this is one of those moments where I felt sort of like Black Phone. I was like project, I was like sent back to the 70s or whatever. This, like when she walks in that mall, I felt mm. like oh, I yeah. was yeah. back in the 80s yeah. going to the mall. I mean, it, it captured just, that it, well. It yeah. captured it so well. I mean, I, I didn't go to a Catholic school, but um, but it, but those characters and how they interacted and 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 just how they joked around with each, each other, that felt kind of real to me, you know, even mm -hmm. real in, within that time period. So I think they really captured it really well, and I think it was just a yeah, it was it, it felt like a very sweet story about like even though there was other topics and stuff, it, um, it was all about friendship, you know, like a, like a sweet story about friendship and exorcisms. So I wish they had focused more on, uh, I, I didn't feel like the exorcism resolved well for me at all. It was, it was thought, a mess. If they did, Cause was, I, even, yeah. I even thought like, I mean, I don't know. I kind of expected her to be so more prepared weird. by the end or whatever, or have some kind of way she was going to get out of it. And it just felt, it just felt very kind of like, okay, here. And I, I, I think they were I trying to show it that it was, their love that their love friendship love um, obviously that's what i mean yeah. that actually but it didn't translate like it yeah. didn't i you know like like instead of using the power of christ they were using the power the love of their friendship yeah but that unfortunately didn't work for me so that's that was my biggest issue because i was like this yeah, is we, where they just kind of it was I, shaky I would agree. For me. the power of boy george compels yeah the boy george yeah <laughs> Yeah, we that would have been hilarious. I would, I would have died. <laughs> the power of the cream. Yeah, the yeah. whole boy George thing was hilarious. Well, the thing that bothered me about the first part of the exorcism is it was a typical exorcism. She goes and asks this goofball to do this exorcism, <laughs> and then he says something like, "You know, are you are you ready to like follow this all the way through, or go to any lengths, or whatever it is?" He says, and she's like, "Yeah," and then like. Before they just, they hardly do anything at all. And she's like, oh, no, we can't do this. Well, then he, he, I don't he doesn't know. follow that, that through either. So. <laughs> well, but I mean, don't talk to it. Don't engage with it. I Some pretty basic instructions that you hear and exorcism type things. So I don't know. That but to be of, fair, I, I, I've never seen an exorcism where they follow through with those orders. They always do well, that. I, well, <laughs> I think, yeah, I mean, yeah. They, they never do. That's just like any movies you you stay I here do kind i'm of, gonna go do this i, I agree stay. with jeff though because she what uh, he was only 
throwing salt on her or something. Yeah. And so yeah. he's like kind of silly. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah but, but close your eyes. Well, like but, it's that's it, come on. But her face it, was getting red and stuff. But I, I will say like to me it felt like the reason she was kind of second guessing is because earlier on she thought she knew what was going on and she kind of screwed things up between people. And oh, I, I, I felt okay. like, yeah. I can buy that too. Okay. And I think, I think also by the end, she's also so very, the whole, I think at the very beginning we find out like, like her, uh, I think mom says she's dependent on other people. She can't make her own decisions or the different like that. And so that's the thing that she kind of has to find by the end, even though it's kind of still that isn't, hundred percent there but i you know I, I will say that's i enjoyed parts of it but at the same time it wasn't as it log, didn't logically make sense or there wasn't like a really explanation of how this is working or how this how they're going to make sure this you know they got rid of the demon you know yeah mm -hmm. so well it was a little odd that the demon vomit she vomited it out and it's like a physical <laughs> form which bothered me that it had it had cleft lip i i was oh, super really? bothered okay. by that right. i i guess i didn't even notice it i was it had, it had two and super bothered i was like why did someone think that was a good idea i that's not a good idea much like the witches when they gave the witches the that the, the I, had a, I had a friend now. yeah and i had a friend who had that who i that Tara, but, and I'm like, why would you do that? Like, it just seems a little weird to me, but, and it was a digital, I mean, it was a CGI demon. That's what, that's where I was kind of like, Ooh, yeah, hmm. kind of unnecessary, but, um, I thought it was odd that it was a physical form and then they just burned it. I, I this is the only part that this is the biggest, my biggest issue with the movie. The rest of it is so good though. You know, yeah. there's so much fun, so much cute, and so much, such a cute little look to it. I'm trying not to focus on the well, fact the that the ending is a little weird. Yeah, because <laughs> the problem is that, you know, films need to stick their landing at the end, right? They, yes. they mm -hmm. Regardless of how good or bad they are, a lot of times it's that that feeling you take when you, when you leave the theater or you turn it off, right? And that's always based on how it ends. So if you, if you don't have a shocking or a incredibly satisfying ending you know you 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 risk losing your audience and this one yeah. is in there now speaking of demons and devils dave you have admitted to us many times that you do not like exorcism films that is and true you do not like devil mm -hmm. films tell us sir did this one bother you no this one didn't this one uh, played off more camp more uh mm -hmm. for me it wasn't uh like a serious exorcism movie if that makes any sense mm -hmm. um yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you know so it wasn't and uh, you know the exorcism almost seemed second place it was, was kind of like they were like but oh, wait shit we're like three quarters through this and we haven't had an exorcism yet we gotta do an exorcism <laughs> you know and so they, they just kind of threw that in there um but yeah no i mean it was done for campy and i i, I I'm thinking design by design because they had that goofy Lemon Brothers dude in there doing it. You know, he's doing the exorcism. He's like, I got protein up, you know, and he goes out to eat some beef jerky or something or whatever the hell he was eating. Your protein bar, yeah, <laughs> you <know that. laughs> yeah, you know. So, so you know, it was it was silly enough to not be taken seriously. Do you think other audiences will enjoy it uh, for the lack of that? Uh, I besides did. the lack of. It? I, yeah, I mean, I think it'll find its audience for sure. I, I really do. I don't think it's going to be a problem there. I mean, come on. And again, spoiler. And this is my, I'm claiming this is my favorite scene already. So the rest of you can't claim it. Oh, but any, 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 anything where you can have a, a chick vomit up a, a 12 foot uh, worm and a dog eat it. I'm, I'm on board. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm on board. Does anybody know? You know what's so does anybody know if this is. What's that? Go ahead. God, are you sure? Okay, so my mom told me like that she had diet pills and she had like left them on the oven and they melted and there was a tapeworm in it. Mm. Yeah. I don't so that total that scene totally jacked me up because I was like, <laughs> oh, maybe well, what my mom said know? is true. <laughs> I remember hearing this when I was a kid and I always thought it was kind of an urban legend, but they told me somebody told me that if you had tapeworms, you like you starve the person and then put a plate of food out in front of them and have them. And the oh, the tapeworms come out! Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> might, might be. Are you oh, kidding me? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, no, that's not... But I like the, you know, the fact that they... Which is kind of what happened, right? Yeah. That they're trying to pull more out later. So, anyway. All right, let's yeah, go yeah. ahead. Ew. Let's go ahead and give our our uh, score of one to five. I know who. And our favorite scene, Christopher G. Moore, sir, you are up first. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed this film. I, I think, uh, you know, I think like a lot of us, I, I had my only issue just had with sticking the landing with how they did the exorcism because it didn't really... It seemed very... Uh, I don't know if haphazard is the right word, but it just felt a little bit of a mess. There wasn't really any kind of like straightforward way they were trying to do this. And and I was trying to figure out like even when the I thought I thought the main character had some kind of idea what she was gonna do and she didn't. So it just like I was like, Well, how are you gonna beat some supernatural uh demon that looks like Gollum? Uh yeah, so, yes. so I, I'll, yeah, give the, that. I'll give this film a um I'll give it a four. I, I really, oh, I really, oh, really wow. enjoyed the sweetness of this film. It, it, it was a little bit nice. of a departure, wow. even though I was expecting to be more comedic. It, it, it fed a little bit of a kinship with Freaky a little bit too, with just how the, oh, the character yeah. kind of changed up. Mm -hmm. you know um, at, ask you that. As for as for favorite scene, um, I, I, I think it'd just be when. <laughs> I think Jeff kind of uh, mentioned earlier, but I, I just I feel like when she started rattling off all these things they loved, like the the power of boy George <laughs> compels you, <laughs> the power of uh, of was it uh, uh, the ice cream or whatever compels you. Thirty one. Um, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Co then... co power of cookies and cream compels you. You know, like, <laughs> so just all, all these different things. It just because it took it in a different direction that were kind of normal. Here, you know, when it's just the power of Christ compels you, but just all these different items just made it, made it a, sort of a very funny, but at the same time, okay, this is how we're going to fight it. We're, we're going to use love, you know. So I just found yeah. that to be a much more interesting way of dealing with that. So that's that was my favorite scene, mainly because I guess I'm a sucker for 80 stuff. <laughs> there you go. I like that. I like that. Crystal, your score and your favorite scene. Okay, so uh, I'm going to give it a 3.25 oh, nice. um, because I really liked it, and it was cute, and it did hit some good notes. I think it could have just, it, honestly, if they had tightened up that end and stuff, I bet this movie would have been, it just so lost me. Like the last 20 minutes like lost me. Wow. But they had some really good evil stuff that this girl did, and I really enjoyed that. Um, obviously, she did, didn't she? Yeah. obviously my favorite scene, <laughs> Jesus, take my load. Of course. <laughs> take my what? Um, Jesus, take my load. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I had to stop it and I died and I was like, I can't believe I just like I feel I'm I'm going to hell. Okay, <laughs> so funny, it's so funny. Um, yeah, yeah. So I like that. I like that. Hey Jeff, what's your score uh, and your favorite scene? I, you know what, I'm giving it a three because right. yeah. it, it doesn't really connect with me. I don't, but I'm glad I watched it and uh, it kept me interested. Uh, I just thought. The hairdos were just really weird. I, I really welcome, welcome had a here. hard time connecting with those. They all looked like they were wearing wigs. I'm like going, what? They might have been, but. Uh, so anyway, um, you know, favorite scene. Jeez, everybody's taking my favorite scenes. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll. I'll I, I got to go back to the. Uh, she picked one specific thing in the uh, in the uh, uh, whatever you call it, the performance at the mall um, of the of the Lemon Brothers. Uh, I'll take the stuff leading up to that because I just thought they were insane. They just jumped around, you know. It was like it was like the the acrobats on Ed Sullivan's show in the sixties, you know. Yeah, well, <laughs> only, only then they shouted things uh, inappropriate Christian things. <laughs> inappropriate christian things oh my god that's great well, i was laughing i was laughing 
Yeah, that is perfect. Perfect. Damn. You already gave us your favorite scene. So. Yep, favorite scene's already done. I, I'm going to go 3.75 on a score. And wow. Uh, wow. yeah, we, we've said pretty much everything you need to say about this one, I think. Oh. It's, it's well covered. Well covered. All right. Well, what am I going to do then? All right. I'm going to give it a 3.75 as well. That's what I got right. Okay. Right now, so I'm, I, like I said, it's it's so close to that bar, but the bar is, it's, man, there's so much. It's, it's yeah, it just isn't going to make it. Um, I, uh, my favorite scene, even though I complained about the over the top satirical comedic stuff that it was so far one way where the, you know, the exorcism was far the other. I'm actually picking a scene with them, the Lemon Brothers, but except for it's just one, the one Lemon Brother that does the exorcism. And it, it what cracked me up, uh, but not in the over the top way, like the scene you picked, Jeff, is he like, Every once in a while, he would like leave the room. <laughs> he would leave the yeah. room, and and, and uh, like when like it showed his mom, right? She became his mom, oh, yeah. and he was like, "Mom," and then he's like, "I'm out of here. I'm gone. It's all you. I'm leaving. That's all I can do." And like, and, and also with the name, like you know, knowing the name is the most important thing. And I was trying to get that name, and she knew the name, and like, it like took the wind out of his sails, and he like took her out there to tell her about it you know i don't know i yeah yeah yeah, for, yeah. For you, some, you ruined everything because this is about me gaining power over me. right so for some oh, stupid yeah. reason i enjoyed that <laughs> uh, i don't know go figure that's it i mean it could there's like all these vomit scenes and all these things that we could pick but yeah that's the one. Oh my god when 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 she falls on the boyfriend I was like, oh, and then he's like, what? She fell on me. <laughs> I, I, mean, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I also like the little little thing we used to see back in the day with the 80s films where they say, this is where this person is now. And this is. Where... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm glad I did like that, that uh, thing that mm -hmm. we used to used to see back, you know, in the 80s films. So it, it makes you feel like you've wrapped everything up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it, yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> always think Animal House with that. I, um, yeah, it's like very Animal House. Or... <laughs> um, I, yeah, I, so there you go. I think you know definitely these filmmakers had a love for the eighties because they they captured it. Um, uh, of course, well, it's it's hip now because of Stranger Things, right? So whatever. But uh, I feel like I don't know. I think the eighties was was becoming more popular before that. Okay. No, no, sure, sure. I do. Yeah. No, I 90s, think. 90s are next. I don't know what they're going to do, but the 90s are next. Is it going to be grunge 90s? I don't. Well, the, the, but the 80s is just much more different. You know, like like the hairs that hair that people wore that Jeff hates. You know, it was just the, <laughs> the clothing was much more ridiculous and gaudy and crazy. I, I, 90s just feels just people going to be emo. <laughs> it's just, yep, yep, there, yep, there's yeah. just not anything that really stands out like as much as the 80s do because the 80s was just ridiculous. Was, it was ridiculous. It was. All right. Well, there you go. That's our review for My Best Friends Exorcism. Check it out on Shudder. We know you're going to love it. Let us know what you think down below. Um, yeah. What <laughs> You could tell us what they are going to do from the 90s. I have no idea. Um, all right. Jeff, Christopher, Dave, Crystal, 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 Crystal. 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 Call me Crystal. Whatever. Who, who's Crystal? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Uh, you can call her Jay if you call her. <laughs> <laughs> That's from the 80s too, right? <laughs> oh, so sorry. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let, let's get out of here. Let's say goodnight. Good night. Good, good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. <laughs>